Looks like it just broke all the bolts to hold the planetary to the casting itself. Yeah. Huh. Well. All right, we've got this um, unhooked, and we're just going to try to uh, drag it down the road here. The pin is out. You can see the final drive here. And the hub extension. So, yeah. Broke the uh, three point hitch cylinder. Fender. Not good. Try to uh, drive this so yeah. that I can get the payloader hooked to the back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is yeah, good. Down, good down. It's going down. Like, would you have to hold the brake on one side or something? Or like, what? Yeah, hold the right brake. This is not the time for jokes. No, that's what it might. Put it in four wheel drive. Yeah. It is. It probably already is. It, is. it better be. Is it just me or is it squat? <laughs> Oh my god, no way. Oh yeah. Just, that is awesome. <laughs> get the payloader soon. I wonder if it would be wise to bring the, the low boy over right now and uh, park it down there and uh, lift it up and drive it right up onto the low boy. I think it's ready to do more field work. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you should probably hook it back on the tank. No, it's ready, it's ready for a mow board plow. If we swing that, yeah, that uh, would hold the ass end up, I bet. If we had a three-point mow board plow, it'd that. probably hold it up. Nice if some cars filter out of here. Should have Nate stand out in the road and tell him to turn around. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. what we're doing we're just sliding around right now and there's a line of cars here just park the tractor right out into the road and just have people turn around all right but yeah we're trying to just get them out of the way we're all just sitting here and we're trying to go down the road and everybody's sliding all right i gotta go I called Nate and told him to uh, just tell cars to turn around down there. Alright, I just got the C5 fired up. We're going to take this over. It's got the low boy hooked to it. We're going to unhook the low boy in front of the tractor. Now we've got the tractor raised up with a payloader. We're just going to drive the trailer, or the tractor that is, up onto the trailer on three legs. Um, it's leaking a little bit of oil, so we can't get it into the field like we wanted to do. We're going to have to load it anyways. 
So this is going to be the best way to do it. We're just going to have to load it right in the road and bring it home and go from there. We ought to be able to take it right over to the dealership after we get it on the trailer here. Uh, but it's going to take a little time to, to get that uh, to where we need it here. So we're going to get there and get it loaded up. We do have the uh, 9320 over there. Once we get things set up, we will get the 9320 hooked onto the tanker and we'll get the tanker uh, out of the ditch and move down to the field. So we'll get over there and get, um, get after it. See, the roads here are fine. When they left the farm, the roads were bare. But where they moved, where they have moved to, is uh, about 10 miles away and they got into some bad weather and the uh, weather took a turn for the worse here so the windows are a little fogged up on the c5 here because we're just getting going but uh, the roads were bare just like this when they left the farm usually being that we're up on a hill the, the weather is usually the worst at home compared to uh, any place else here so we'll get there and get it loaded up and we'll join back with you in a little while here. Just about up to the uh, accident scene here now. We're only half a mile away. And what a difference a couple hours makes here. These roads are bare now. The farm that they were going to be pulling into to spread on is just up here a little ways. So they're only a few hundred yards away from the field. They've got the frack tank already there. You can kind of see that up here a little bit. Uh, a little ways on your right hand side. So we're just about to um, the 8320 with the broken axle. We're going to get unhooked from the trailer. Drop it in front of the tractor and then we'll just kind of carry slash drive the uh, tractor up on there. We're coming into the scene here coming from the other way so earlier we had come in from the top coming down through so all right so we're gonna get the uh, trailer set in place then we'll start in um, loading One second. Now everyone else is trying to go by you. Yeah, he's good. All right, he's good now, man. Unless you want to stay and watch. I wish I could. Yeah, boy, you can back in. If you want to back in and watch. We got camera. My four-year-old grandson lives here. Oh, Gigi, we got a lot. You'll be able to see it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. Good luck. Keep going. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. All right, let's roll. What was that? Is that the rear end?
Yeah, I think we're gonna have to figure out something here. Oh, it didn't fuck on straight. I turned. It almost went off the trail. I thought it was gonna run over there. I, yeah, me too. I thought she was gone. I was just sitting on the set all the way down. Well, when he, I gotta do an Instagram pic. Instagram quality photos. And when he came up on it, kind of like twisted, and then it turned itself, and then it went off the trail. This video will be on browsers later. <laughs> what? I said this video will be on browsers later. I thought it was going to go over. <laughs> that guy was giving it. What them blocks are doing? Maybe we could steal them from that tanker. No matter, we gotta pay later. All right, Nathan, let's uh, tighten that hitch up. Well, you need to get right on the low boy on the way back. Hold it up. Hold it up, yeah. yeah. I'm. Or he's Kurt. Come on, well, let's tighten the hammer strap up on the tractor. This is unsafe. <laughs> you think? <laughs> we got the old school bus getting a good. Well, it should be fine until it hits the front end rust. Well, the valve's down here. On the inside, isn't it? Uh, what air out of the tire? Out. That air out. You gotta have pliers or vice grips. Isn't that one of the caps to do it? Can't you do it with that cap? Right here is our culprit, ladies and gentlemen. Show your face. Show your face. Trav, Trav Dad Spicer. <laughs> All right, we got to start grabbing chain binders from that. Low boy. The back of the trailer. Low boy. To start getting this. Let's put a sock in there. Let's put a pinch on that. Grab a bolt. Sock? I was talking to Rob. All right, let's just hand it off. Got one laying on the ground right here. Yeah, we we'll excuse this. Alright. Here. Let's see if we can get this one tight. Take out these front ones. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can go. Really. Okay. Alright, so we gotta get to uh, All right, you guys need to thank Nate here for holding the camera. We got this chain down. Now we need to uh, just get the tractor back hooked to the trailer. Then we'll go up and get the uh, tanker out of here. Jesus. Well, that planetary probably weighs 200 pounds, if not more. Let alone the rest of the housing and everything. Not much. Right off, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're good. Look out, two. folks. He might be drunk. You never know. This is Nate Lilly. <laughs> yep, he's definitely drunk. Got it.
weather is kind of wet to absolute crap here. I'll flip the camera around here in a minute. But we've got snow covered roads here. Got that lighting adjust. Yeah, so we've got snow covered roads. I just came through 13 curves and that was a couple of cars off the road. It's rather slippery in through uh, the curves there. So now I got the phone ringing, so I better answer that. We'll be back to the shop there in a minute. All right, so a friend of mine just called me. That's who was on the phone there. And I guess there's a couple of cars off the, off the road here up a ways. Um, roads are a little slippery. We've got differentials locked in, so... Hopefully we don't have any trouble here. We might have to wait for the county to come through with a salter. Salt the roads here a bit. These roads are garbage. Maybe Andrew should park that payloader somewhere. Okay. Amber Road's an asshole. All right. But. Yeah, there's a couple of spots right there. Somebody didn't make it. We got pretty good tires on here, so we're we're gonna try to get her. pretty good. He hit the guide wire cable and the telephone pole. So, it's a little slippery here. Now, this is, this next hill can be a mongrel here too. Usually guys come around the top corner and they end up sliding pretty good, and then they overcorrect, and they usually end up in the field that's up to our left, that's going to be on our left here. Well, I don't see anybody off there, but usually they go off right 
just to the other side of that sign on the left hand side of the road. They bank it down in there and we're slipping a little bit. But the rest of it's pretty easy. We got one more hill to climb by the lagoon and we should be alright there. differential gets locked in it'll lock all uh, eight rear drive wheels so we're just gonna park this over here near the Moss trailer we'll give it a little walk around here and then we'll call it a night All right, we just got back into the dooryard with the 8320 here, and um, we've gotten a few inches of snow throughout the day here. So uh, that's where it's gonna sit here for tonight. And what it did is it ended up breaking all the bolts out. Uh, I thought that was a crack. It broke all the bolts out of the differential housing here, and then it broke the uh, drive axle where it goes in through. The rear end there, so um, it broke the rear um, cylinder for the three-point hitch here. It's got some hoses that are screwed up and stuff like that. So um, we'll have to have Kaz put a parts list together on that and get working on this. Um, they've got one of our other 8320s in for. Um, for brakes they're putting brakes on that so ended up getting the front rim here too so that's that so well, there's the town this is a county road here this is um, a town truck coming up through so if we'd have gotten in any trouble um, they would have uh, been able to assist us anyway so there's the town there Well, they would have came. They would have come to our rescue if we needed them to help get up those hills. But we got pretty good tires on that um, C500. There's the footprint of the tire right there, and um, they use that style tire on a lot of the oil field trucks. So that's gonna do it for this video, folks. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll catch you at the next one.